friends hope you all are doing well i'm glad that you liked my last video and you had commented a lot in that video so today i am going to discuss about a subject which is very close to my heart that is the remarkable anatomists in history the anatomy as a subject fascinated me from the days when i joined the medical school or should i say uh, from the high school days when i first came to know that in med school they dissect cadavers this very fact fascinated me that how can they do such a thing which is such a social taboo at least in india so when i joined medicine i found it not a point of taboo it is such a beautiful thing we learn a lot about our own systems our own body structure and finally the dead teaches us about life and by that knowledge i have today become a surgeon and anatomy still helps me in going further in treatment in difficult scenarios in my surgery career i often go back and see the anatomy textbooks see anatomical diagrams to look at the structures which i am going to perform in the next day so let's see this video let's watch this video i have tried a lot to put as many facts as possible but a disclaimer i should put your discretion is necessary in this video because certain facts put here are of strong words or strong sentiments and there are some macabre facts associated with it which you might not feel good about it so it's all your discretion so let's enjoy this video human body the beautiful creation of the almighty from thousands of years humans were inquisitive about how our body looks from inside and how it works in this video we are briefly going to flip through the pages of history and explore the vastness of and intricacies of human anatomy welcome about this beautiful journey and watch till the end the oldest systematic record of anatomy and dissections are found in the shushruta samhita an ancient sanskrit vedic text shushruta was a ancient indian physician the main author of the compendium of shushruta or shushruta samhita his birth dates back to 800 bc in the kingdom of kashi or the modern day holy city of varanasi he is described definitely as a father of plastic surgery and father of surgery shushruta was a proponent of human dissections but according to the hindu tenets the human body is sacred in death hindu shastra says that no body may be violated by the knife and persons older than 2 years of age must be cremated in their original condition shushruta bypassed this decree and achieved his remarkable knowledge of human anatomy by using a brush type of broom which scraped off the skin and flesh without using knife the bodies were tied with banana tree trunks and were let submerged partially in slowly flowing water to make the skin loose before using this technique he said in the shushruta samhita anyone desirous of acquiring a thorough knowledge of anatomy should prepare a dead body and carefully observe by dissecting it and examine its different parts he accurately described many anatomical structures bones ligaments etc the advancement of surgery in ancient indian medical history is significant when considering the obstacles that deterred the study of anatomy shushruta in his samhita described many innovative surgical techniques including rhinoplasty local plastic surgery flaps dental surgery and many other surgeries and instruments his legacy still reigns in the world of plastic surgery and ayurveda we fast forward 2300 years to 1500 ad in brussels in 1514 ad was born andreas vesalius or andris van wessel he studied in the university of leuven and university of paris where he developed keen interest in anatomy upon his graduation he was immediately offered a chair at the prestigious university of padua in anatomy and surgery he did a lot of work in cadavers proving or disproving the theories of galen vesalius learned to do dissections on executed convicts most remarkable among those was public demonstration of dissection of the body of jacob carrer von gibweiler a notorious felon from basel switzerland 
The basal skeleton, as it is still well known, is the only well-preserved skeletal preparation of Vesalius. It is also the world's oldest surviving anatomical preparation stored in Museum of University of Basel, Switzerland. Vesalius went on to write his textbook of anatomy, De Humani Corporis Fabrica. As we move on further, I am going to mention Henry Gray. One of the most widely followed textbooks of human anatomy worldwide is Gray's Anatomy. Henry Gray was a British anatomist and surgeon. He was a painstaking and methodical worker and one who learned his anatomy by slow but invaluable method of making dissections for himself. In 1858, Gray published first edition of Anatomy with 750 pages and contained 363 illustrations which were made by Henry Van Dyke Carter, an anatomist and medical illustrator. But soon after publishing the book, Henry Gray, who worked as a lecturer at the St. George's Hospital, died in 1861 of smallpox, leaving a void in the field of anatomy. Next in the list is Pankov, Edward Pankov, a Nazi physician. I have included him in the list just to showcase his macabre and ghastly deeds. He is best known for his seven volume anatomical atlas, topographical and applied human anatomy, which is also known as Pankov Atlas. The dissections were done on concentration camp prisoners, the innocent Jews and the gypsies. The victims of human experiments were subjected to VV section, which means cutting up when alive. The Pankov Atlas have been a legacy and ready reckoner for anatomical details for many practicing surgeons till recently. The Atlas is a real work of art with lifelike detail of anatomy of vasculature and neural structures. But it remained as an evidence of barbarism of Nazis. It is a fusion of beauty and evil and that diminishes the status and content of this beautiful text and therefore should be rejected. Next in our list is Gunther von Higgins. He is a modern anatomist who invented the technique called plastination. He organized numerous body worlds exhibition. This German anatomist fell into controversies when he decided to perform public autopsy demonstration to 500 non-medical persons in the London theatre. He has also been criticized about ambiguity in the source of obtaining his cadavers. But still, this anatomist who suits up in quite a medieval attire with a hat while dissecting features in this list because of his intricate dissections and preservation of specimen plastination technique, which would have an enormous impact in the future of medical education. With this, we come to the end of this video about the remarkable anatomists in the history. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you have got any suggestions or if you want any anatomist to be featured in the list, then please comment below. I will try to make another video. And don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel and you will not be disappointed. Next video would be coming in next week. Thank you.